Hi there, and welcome to another video tutorial from Comfort Iris. Today we're making some dashboards for the Filofax personal planner. Here I'm using some paper from Poundland and using the 123 punch board by We Are Memory Keepers to create some tabs. I cut the paper to about one centimetre longer than a standard personal page, and this is so that there's room for the tab. And so I've punched the tab inside the paper. I'm using a tea ruler to mark out where the excess needs to be cut and then cutting this off with just a pair of scissors. I've left the punch marks about two inches apart and this gives a really nice length for writing on and gives three punches, three tabs, sorry, along the length of the page. punch holes in the correct place, I'm using a specially designed punch from the Pesco, but this doesn't really align the holes very well, so I'm creating my own tool, just on a scrap piece of paper, showing where the punch and the paper line up for a perfectly punched step, and then punching the same, same holes into the dashboards just for you. some decoration, I'm using some copper drawing ink, some copper texture paste, some stencils, some sequins, and some embellishments. For a full list of supplies, please see the video description and a full description from my blog. Here in pencil, I'm using some handwriting to write out the name of the month, and then I'm going over that with a number six brown brush and some copper drawing ink. This ink is really vibrant and metallic and very thick but it's lovely to work with. I'm not so confident with my brush calligraphy, so by using a pencil first, it's easier to get that calligraphy look without actually relying on the downstrokes and the upstrokes being perfect using the brush. Here I tried writing on the tab the same way, but this didn't really go to plan because it's quite a large brush. So to remove it, because this paper has a slightly shiny finish and so it's slightly unpolished, I was able to wipe it off with a baby wipe and then go over that with a paper towel just to dry it off. I then repeated the same process with July and August. The paper for June is very vibrant with lots of those butterflies on there and I felt it didn't need much extra embellishing. So I'm just adding a few sequins from a colour theme pack, also from Poundland, and I'm using a clear PVA glue to apply those just with a cheap natural hairbrush. You can see the finished effect by using some large and small sequins. Here I'm using a stickable stencil from Bill Bunny and some artist masking tape which I'm just applying to my hand to make sure it's very low tack. Unfortunately my uh, camera cut out and didn't record putting the texture paste through the stencil so you'll be able to see the end result. I simply used a metal palette knife to apply it. So it gives me some images at the end. So here I'm using a stamp set from Dreamies, um, applying first marking, and then using an anti-static tool just to make sure that the embossing powder doesn't stick to any of the fingerprints or static on the dashboard. And then I'm using some Dreamies embossing glitter. This is in the Hawaiian Sunset. It's from the Pastels collection. And it gives a really nice rustic finish because it's sort of a mixture of embossing powder and glitter. And in some areas it's very glittery as it melts, you can see. In other areas it's just quite a nice pastel colour. Which is kind of like I was going for and really matches this paper very well. To finish off, I'm using a copper gel pen to write on the names of the months on the tabs. In a style to match the copper drawing. And then using a tea ruler to mark out and measure a monthly layout. You can find these online at places like Filofaxi, I'll leave a link in the video description, and you can download and print them off for free so you don't have to do this step. I'm using some small stamps, icon stamps, typically designed for planning from Burbunny, and then two two drop memento ink pads from Tancello and Move Lab Stock, and just stamping a couple of icons and important dates. So here I'm using a cupcake with a candle for birthdays and a little video icon for when I plan to upload YouTube videos. No promises though. So here you can see the end result in the planner, and I'll leave you with some still images of the dashboards as they're finished. 
Thanks very much for watching and I hope you've enjoyed this and got inspired. If you like the video, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Thanks again and I'll see you next time.